The USDA is scheduled to release the annual cattle inventory report on Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern after being delayed due to the partial government shutdown. The U.S. cattle herd as of January 1st is forecast just barely higher at 100.1 percent of the year-ago figure. The range of analyst estimates for all cattle and calves in the U.S. is from 99.6 percent to 100.5 percent of the previous year. Analysts and economists participating in the Ernerberry Newswire's cattle inventory survey on average predict the total herd as of January 1st at about 94.5 million head, up fewer than 100,000 head from last year, but still the largest since 2009 and nearly 7 percent over the 2014 figure following the severe drought years. This year may see a reduction in the overall herd size for the first time since 2014. The average guess among the analysts for beef replacement heifers was 95.7 percent of a year ago. For more on the UB Newswire survey, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. And be sure to check back on Thursday for an update on the official report. In other news, Children Deli Foods are witnessing increasing demands in the food and beverages industry. Here's account manager Jennifer Mack with the story. The demand for chilled and deli foods is increasing in the food and beverages industry mainly due to growing acceptance among consumers. The popularity of these products is largely associated with their ease of preparation, storage, and availability in retail outlets, which is expected to influence the global consumption patterns over the forecast years. With an increasing number of working class population and changing lifestyles, retail stores are emphasizing on altering present state of display and focusing on products that have greater shelf life and are capable of retail retaining quality while kept frozen. The distribution channel for chilled and deli foods is largely pivoted to supermarkets, hypermarkets, convenience stores, and e-commerce portals capable of catering to a large consumer base. For more on this, subscribers should log into Comtel. Thanks, Jennifer. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to visit Comtel for the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Episano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Episano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.